We walked to the pub and he just absolutely lost it. And here I am sweating. When I get nervous, I just sweat. Welcome back to our channel and welcome to our tea time. So we did attempt to do this video earlier with Ethan present. Special moment for me, my good to have him in the stand. But it was an epic fail. He was throwing things off the table, headbutting the table and crawling everywhere. So it was a bit difficult. So we had to take him for a drive and now we can relax and unwind and have our chat. So um, a lot has happened in this past month. A lot has happened yeah. with, with baby, but we've had a few birthdays. Birthdays, we've had Kimber's birthday, Paco's birthday, Ethan's first birthday. And that was a big thing. Uh, and then we had your game. Yeah, so yeah. the crowd was allowed back into the stadium for the first time in I think over two years, maybe. Yeah, no, that's a long time. Maybe just under a year. Yeah, that's exactly right. Yeah, that's exactly right. Like um, two years, I don't think COVID. Yeah. yeah, so it, no, it was good to have the the, the crowd um, to experience the Welford, you know, the Lesser Tigers crowd. Yeah. Because I've, I've never been to a game mm, until the weekend. Yeah, yeah. Well, really, no one has really. Yeah. Yeah, but to also have Kim and, and Ethan in the stands. Um, was pretty good. You know, it was for me, it was, it was a special moment for me. You probably had a headache. Oh, he was all right. Ethan was all right for the first half, but then, you know, I think he got a bit rowdy, got a bit loud, and then the end, he gets scared of weird things like people with hats on or sunglasses on. Oh, no. So, yeah, he just was a bit unsettled for the second half, and I spent most of my time downstairs with the security guards watching it on the screen. <laughs> But yeah, I think also with um, Ethan, we're starting to take him out a lot more. Yeah. Um, obviously with lockdown, we were stuck in the house, so we couldn't really do much. So He's not very used to people. He's not really used to people at the moment. And that's, I mean, working in progress. But after he's starting to like our neighbours and stuff, you know, he, he'll see them, he'll give them the death look for a bit, and then he'll settle down. And It's hard because people are like, oh, he's so cute. Yeah. And then he's like... <laughs> <laughs> and he just starts crying, losing it. But I took him out for the first time to the pub for lunch, just me and him, and that was pretty daunting. I remember going into the pub, this was just a few days ago, we walked to the pub and he just absolutely lost it. And here I am sweating. When I get nervous, I'll just sweat. And I literally was just apologising to everyone around me. Luckily, there was a, like an old couple that was sitting next to us, and they were like, no, we've had kids before, don't worry we about understand. it. I was like, I'm so sorry. Thankfully, it was at our local pub down the road, and um, yeah, they were understanding. And yeah, but that, that was that was pretty cool. He was unsettled, but then yeah, and then towards the end, he was alright. Gave him some watered down apple juice and a few chippies. That's chippies. why he didn't sleep. Yeah, wow. Well, <laughs> I was like, why isn't he sleeping? <laughs> yeah, and so um, anything, and they had his iPad on, like literally the table was just like everything to make him feel comfortable and. <laughs> We got there in the end, which was pretty cool. Oh, that's good. Um, but yeah. Because yeah, he changed. So when he turned one, literally on that day, he yeah. just had an attitude. He wanted to do everything by himself. The nappy, nappy changes got worse. Like I just, I was like, what happened? Yeah, but also too, he's crying. Like he screams now. For, yeah. It's like screaming it like for attention. Yeah. You know, that aside, it's been a long season. It's been our, my first full season. Yeah. Um, since what we've arrived from France, I remember we had a um, half a season that we had to finish off, but it was pretty. Um, I feel like it's flown. Yeah, it's gone so so quickly. Yeah, even yeah. though the lockdown, I think because the lockdown, it feels like I know it's so weird to say, but it feels like it's flown. Yeah. Because I think we're all used to being at home and like not doing anything, and then now you're busy doing stuff. It seems like it's gone quick. Yeah, yeah. it's just crazy. I mean, comment below, you know, parents or, or new parents. How crazy it is, like, just being hands-on. How hard is it, like, not having family around and just trying to bring up, you know, it, it's it's joy watching him grow. But it's hard. But it's hard, it's just... Because now he doesn't, Ethan doesn't want to be in the house anymore. No, he yeah. wants to walk, so... I mean, it's, I guess it's part and parcel of being parents, but... Yeah. I mean, I'm finding it a bit tough at the moment just because of rugby. You know, you come home and then you want to, as any good father would do, you want to take him off. Yeah, like, I feel bad because, like, I'm with him the whole day and he's different with me than he's yeah, with Nems. Yeah, worst thing, he's completely different. So yeah. with Kim, he... He, he just wants my attention 24-7. Whereas yeah. with me, we could be in a room, in his toy room, and I'll just lie under the mattress and he'll just do his own thing. Like, he's kind of like, man, yeah. you stay there, I'll stay here. Yeah. But I feel bad because Nims is like goes to work all day, and then as soon as he gets home, I'm like, yeah, take it. Yeah, that's pretty <laughs> tough. So um, you know, hats off to all the single parents out there doing it. Yeah. You know, doing it with 
like I don't know how you did. My mum did it. Yeah, hats off to you. Much respect. Yeah. Um, parents in general. Yeah, just parents in general, I guess. <laughs> but um, yeah, no. I mean, putting that aside, I think you know we've got our last game of rugby this week, yeah. and um, we play Wasps, which is kind of like a derby game. Um, they're not far away. They're about forty-five minutes away. So, looking forward to that, and then. We get some downtime. We're off to Australia. Yes. Um, back home to meet the family. Yeah, it was well, really last minute. Yeah, it was yeah. last minute. So Kim and Ethan, as you all know, went earlier, went back in December and spent a few months there. But I think for me, I'm, I'm really looking forward to it. Um, so it's been how long? Like four years? Yeah, just over, just under four yeah, years. Four years since, since you've been back. Yeah, so be, yeah. it's going to be pretty special to take Ethan back and, and meet the rest of my family, which they couldn't do before because of COVID, and obviously he was sick. Yeah. So I'm I'm really looking forward to taking him home and yeah. taking him to church with uh, with his grandmother, the church that I, I I grew up in. Yeah. So it'll be pretty cool to to do that. So um, yeah, I mean this week's probably a bit more stressful than any other week because we're sort of organising everything. Yeah. The good thing is like we've got house sitters that. Um, specialise in looking after dogs as well so yeah. that's that's a plus like yeah. you know at least we know the house is going to be um, occupied but also the, the dogs, dogs are going to be looked, looked after, after yeah. so yeah that's a big plus for us we're yeah. probably stressed about that the most because we? Yeah, we learned our lesson in France yeah majorly <laughs> you have to get a house sitter guys you have to get a house sitter. <laughs> when you go on holiday <laughs> yeah, we, no, we found out the hard way our house yeah, got robbed yeah. Um, twice yeah twice yeah, yeah when we were away weren't we yeah um, but yeah, no, just I, I'm for me, I'm looking forward to some downtime. And I can't wait just to be like, hey, grandma. Yeah, <laughs> we keep saying it every day, like leading into I mean, we like, love Ethan, but oh, wow. I like, can't wait for you to get your grandma then just. <laughs> we just and, need like a break. We just need to sleep in. Yeah, like we just a need sleep to sleep in, in past, past seven o'clock. Yeah. That's that's all ours. That's that's all we want. <laughs> Don't need a day off. I just need a couple more we, hours sleep. We can do that. That'd be happy days. Yeah. Um, and also too, the weather is is has um, warming up. Is warming up here in the UK, which I'm so thankful of. I never thought we'd buy an aircon. Yeah, we in bought the UK, we bought an aircon. We bought an aircon over there. I've got to still set it up. Actually, it gets really hot here. We're all you know pretty excited to just get home. Yeah, have a break, have, have a, break. a refresher. Yeah, you know this past year was a bit of a write off. Um, yeah, massive with COVID, off the so COVID and other things. Yeah, so. It'll be nice. Nice to see the family with Nems present. It'd be lovely to have you have you there. Yeah. And then I think we're going home for a bit and then we come back and it's back round two. It back into it again. So, yeah. oh, so I forgot to tell you guys. It's not yet sh- for sure yet, but um, I may be going away with the Fiji team. We'll find out in the next few days really? if, I, if I've made it or not. Yeah. So if I make it, then obviously I'm going to, we go to New Zealand. So... <laughs> We're just not there yet. And then you'll come meet us up. And then, yeah, and then, I'll, and then I'll meet the guys. Are, thankfully, Australia and New Zealand don't have to quarantine. Mm-hmm. So I'll be able to get on the plane back there. But Unfortunately, Ethan and I have to quarantine again. Again. So if that's the case, then you're going to have a few videos from me being yeah. in New Zealand and obviously in isolation um, and these guys as well. So, But I was thinking um, what I'll do is if I do go, um, I want you guys to comment down below. Um, I know there's a lot of a lot of Fijians that follow us. You know, content. What content do you guys want while I'm on tour? Yeah, that'd be pretty cool. I'll read up on it and I'll. So if you can incorporate in the yeah, videos. Yeah, incorporate yeah. In the videos. And if you guys have some players that you guys want me to do interview and stuff, and there's some funny jokers in the squad, I'll be happy to uh, to do that for you. And, yeah. And likewise for Kim in as well. Yeah, we 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 can't wait. But that's oh, not. I can wait. <laughs> it hasn't happened yet, so. <laughs> Hopefully we'll find out in the next few days. Yeah, so for me, my whole day probably won't start just yet. Yeah. Maybe Maybe yes, maybe no. Yeah, not sure. But we'll we'll soon find out. We'll let you know. Yeah. I don't know what really I can show in quarantine for the round two. Yeah. (laughs) So, well. I think it's going to be a bit more hectic because Ethan's walking now and he's very mobile. Yeah. It's going to be pretty crazy because he was lying in bed before. Yeah, he was just in bed. Couldn't he couldn't even uh, crawl yet? No. The last time we were there, so, so now, he'll be... now I have to pad the whole room. Yeah, like a billion pillows probably. I wanted to give him one of my headgears so he can wear. <laughs> oh yeah, they'll be like, "What do you request?" Oh, yeah. I request a hundred pillows. Yeah, hundred pillows. <laughs> so. Yeah, I think guys, that's all from us. Yeah, um, that's our update. Update from the Nadolo residence. Yeah. I um, we hope you guys enjoy the video, and like I said earlier. Um, comment down below 
um, of any content you guys want to see, um, we'll be happy to try and fit it in, fit it in, and, yeah. and do it. So, but guys, until next time, don't forget to like and subscribe. Bye for now. Bye. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, and you really want to show it. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands.